Let's go through the patch notes. So Aphelios... I feel like the big one here is just the Q wagon change. I think everything else doesn't matter too much. I think it's kind of whatever. I think it matters the most in fights where uh, you rotate enough weapons. Rotate enough weapons to get through purple again because you usually fight on blue, white, green. Um, especially like range is too important, blue, white, green. That's why I think this one is the most significant because this is what you rotate during fights. Uh, sentry guns like this for Nash damage as well. I think it's interesting, but I don't think this changes uh, if it loses spot in the in the meta. Uh, I think it doesn't matter. I uh, really also uh, W Max. We had this discussion last time as well. W Max second. This is a nice change, but the early game nerf here is pretty big. Uh, presence of mind, mana flow band. We have to run both uh, probably for sure. Um, I still think this should be okay. Just you can't do the tap mana thing anymore because you're going to just go um too much. Uh, so the tap mana is nerfed. Uh, I, something I don't know for sure is if the Q bug but that you Q through minions, if that has changed at all. Um, the E singularity changed, non champions are slow to zero move speed. Uh, this is something to against Ivan, Annie, and all that jazz. All the minions in the game uh, don't get slowed anymore. Lane minions and jungle monsters are slowed uh, all the same. 80 mana at all ranks. 75 AP, AP scaling, okay, that's all right. You don't buy heavy AP numbers. Um, I don't think this matters too much. Uh, I think Aurelian Soul is Aurelian Soul. I think this nerf is pretty big though. Uh, I think this hurts him. 3 AD uh, to compensate, I'm not so sure. I think the play pattern of spitting on people uh, is, 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 is the main thing that carries Aurelian Soul through 1 to 3. But I think I think this should be okay. I think Aurelian Soul is gated by the fact that AD mids are OP. Uh, Belveth, I thought it was a weird change. Um, I didn't know how much, uh, how strong Elveth has done in solo queue. I, I'm out of the loop on that, so I have to trust right that this is just a solo queue change. And basically the change is that you're weaker in general, but if you have form, you get the strength, so the separation. Um, yeah, the separation, of course, is 1-2. It's, it's uh, making Belveth weaker for the fights that will get her the Endless Banquet. I, I don't know if it's a situation where Belveth can get like, uh, like void grubs and so forth. Not so sure why Belveth is doing well. Uh, I'm not so sure. I'm out of the loop. Uh, brand changes. Conflagration. I think that you can do Q Max no problem and not be hurt. Um, I think that's okay. I, I think the brand is still just as strong. Uh, I think uh, the E damage is not the problem. The E spread is the problem, I think, when it comes to lane brand. Uh, I think that the E size of the spread, I think there is no point where you can create a scenario where that's like okay. I think the E spread is the problem. And um, I think I, I think it would be cool if Brand R traveled slower, but uh, did more damage, uh, like base damage. Uh, basically, like you get more damage, you get hit by it, but it travels slower, so there's actually like more counterplay. Because I think in most fights, you're stacked enough for you to get hit by it, and Brand's ulti fizzling is usually random and out of panic. Uh, so I wouldn't mind if they made the ult travel slower um, and uh, the E change, of course. Um, I think are more important changes than anything else because I think the, the, the damage of this is just a synergy of Leandri. I think currently Leandri is giga broken. I think Leandri needs to be nerfed and I think other AP items need to be buffed for, um, for the, of course, uh, compensation for it, you know? Uh, Chogat, I read this change before as well. I don't think this matters. I think Choga right now has two shit items to be a mid laner, and I think that's where he's the strongest when he's Q maxing. I think the other tanks are just better than Chogat uh, doing what uh, a Chogat or a tank needs to do. Um, I think uh, the change of how uh, Hearthsea works is it was a big negative for Chogat. Uh, Koki, 30 HP down. I think Koki is something that is a little bit overrated, overplayed in solo queue, a little bit overweight in terms of playing. I, I think that this is a champion that. Um, uh, you know, in terms of the context of pro play, doesn't need this stuff. I think uh, Koki is in a fine spot. Uh, Fiddle 6, uh, Terrific now Black Press 5 is now blocked by Yasu's Wind Wall, Bronze on Break, Bronze on Yasu's Blade Wall. Okay, there is a projectile, it is what it is. Okay, Hecarim Health Roll increased, W duration decreased, Healing increased, the cooldown decreased, E cooldown adjusted. Okay, so health growth, duration 25%, half to 25. Uh, okay. So they just want you to max E second. That's the change up. E second. Um, 
I don't know how well Hecarim is doing right now with Zeke's convergence and so forth. No clue. This is strictly for solo queue. I'm not sure if uh, there is some kind of business where... Um, I'm not so sure where, where Hecarim uh, is cooking, you know? I don't know where he's at, uh, like in terms of solo queue. No clue. No clue. Uh, like in, in, in terms of pro play, he doesn't have a place at all right now. Uh, maybe if people play Talia jungle, maybe. It's just that uh, his items are too weak and re relies on snowballing and his ganks are weak. So uh, you, you kind of want to snowball to increase your clear speed, get your tier in there and so forth. I won't even pull up. I, I just want to make sure because Hecarim builds change so often. So let's, let's just see what uh, the homies do in solo queue. Let's pull up Hecarim. Hecarim, Hecarim, Hecarim. Spear Soldier into Eclipse. I remember some Zeke's Convergence was bought. Zeke's Convergence, Eclipse. Zeke's Convergence, it just seems Sojin first, no matter what, Sojin first just seems to be doing well. Mana Mule complete skip, Mana Mule second, Mana Mule third. Um, I feel like if you have enough items, it's kind of popular. It's such a low play rate, the Mana Mule, so Mana Mule, maybe the tier is completely pointless. Let's see what this Korean uh, Hacker MODP is doing. Uh, this Hacker games. So he's just going Black Lever every game. Eclipse, Black Lever, Eclipse, Black Lever, Zeke's Convergence. Clips by Cleaver, six conversions. So this guy just likes ability haste, it seems. He just loves ability haste. Okay. Which is Spade of Sojin, right? In a nutshell, right? Um, he probably just really enjoys dealing physical damage against 20 move speed, because that's a trade off, right? You get less haste and you get the armor reduction, which is slightly worse at the points in the game where you finish than comparison to the 12% damage, right? You need to. It's like you have to compare the six armor reduction. 30% armor reduction full to the Spear of Sojin stacking, right? Uh, if if the armor pen that gives you more damage than the Spear of Sojin buff, then um, obviously this is just stronger. And then you compare, uh, of course, the, the extra cooldown you get from Sojin against the move speed. So I, I, I can see the justifications for Black Lever in, in some spots. Okay. All right, uh, Irelia, uh, 80 growth down. Ionis Fervor, okay, if they made it scale linearly and not spike levels, Blade Surge cooldown reduction, okay, this champion is getting nerfed. Hmm. Well, this makes her level 1 to, like, like, her in-between levels become a lot better. But attack speed is not, I don't know, I wouldn't want to trade the attack speed for this, so I feel like this this part of the equation is a, a more a essential part of Virelia, so I think this this attack speed for this change, I, I don't like it. I'm a Virelia player, I think that's just the overall uh, nerf. Jax equal and increase early, 2 seconds, that's pretty big uh, for competitive Jax has appearances, 2 seconds. Uh, let's just pull up uh, Renekton real quick. Uh, that's the most common matchup that we see, right? Renekton. Just the window of W. Renekton, low wiki. Let's just pull up his... Uh, his WAP, WAP, WAP. Let's see the, the cooldown of Renekton W. I believe it's uh, higher than that. Actually, 16. It's it, actually 16. I wonder... If you can like like this is this is just on the money just on the money i wonder if there's a tech where you can put one extra point in ruthless predator just to rotate w twice in between the e's like this this is like a, exactly in the window where where the e counter strike nerf actually makes a difference <laughs> it's pretty funny fun discovery All right so this this is gonna make that matchup a, a, a lot worse um, another thing that I thought about is Nar E. I don't remember the Nar E cooldown. I think it's like 22. Because these, these are the two matchups that uh, are impacted the most, you know. You have uh, E cooldown is 22. Okay. It's all about the window, right? It's like the window is now a lot more narrow uh, to find the E. I think these windows matter a lot for sure. Okay. K 
Cannon Form Q damage increased. Okay. All right. Thing is, don't five might sound like little, but it is more considering you boost the damage with your E. Think as a Jace player, you take those. It's a minor buff, but you take it. You take it. Kindred. HP down, bonus attack speed down. Not sure what she's cooking in Soul Gear. I think in pro play, she's perfectly fine, fine and fun to to see her show up in games. Especially with the mid lane meta, right? Mid lane meta ADs. Uh, Kindred is something definitely that will make uh, her way back when mages are back because that invites the engage. Uh, Lilia, Dream Bin Laden Bow. Uh, health effectiveness versus champions 100% for first, reduced to 30%, 33% for successive champions, 100% for the first, reduced to 15% successive champions. Oof. Okay, that's a pretty big nerf, guys. Oh, I, I feel really the issue. I'm, I'm, I read really, guys. The issue is Lianvi. I, I, like, we're gonna reach a point where Lianvi gets nerfed, and then you, they're gonna compensate buff all other AP items because the Lianvi nerf is going to hit. Like, it's just Lianvi is just not on par with every other AP item in the game. So the champions that use Lianvi well are Giga broken. I think that they are. They are just going about the issue so wrong yeah thinking oh there's a lot of champions that buy leandri that are fine it just happens to be that they don't abuse leandri as hard as lilia rumble uh brand uh, whatever you can think of it's clearly a leandri issue leandri 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 is the problem leandri's torment is tormenting the league meta buff the other ap items and nerf leandri Leandri is supposed to be a specialist item that is good against HP stackers. And we are in a meta where everybody will buy Warmog's armor, so it's pretty good, right? It's pretty damn good regardless. But you buy Leandri regardless of where you're at. It's like Leandri's is just a must buy in most cases, even against team comps that don't buy HP. It, it's it's irrelevant. It's not some anti-HP item. It's just an OP item that, that, that just is completely overloaded, has really insane components, really easy path. I think Leandri is, uh, really needs to be nerfed. Really needs to be nerfed. And I think that the other AP items need to get compensate buffed. And then I think the champions need to be not touched because the champions are not the issue. I'm really unhappy about this. All right, passive fired up. What the fuck? Are like, Milio is getting so much patch notes. Like, last time, patch notes. I don't know, like, why is Milio getting so much? He's getting so much patch notes. Am I crazy or what? All right, 50 of uh, Okay, burn average 7, 11, 15 of allies AD, followed by 10, 15 based on level. So they just nerfed the burn damage, plain and simple, through and through. They just nerfed it, okay? Ultra Mega Fire Kick, range higher. Hitting at least one champion with Ultra Mega Kick refunds 50 of its mana cost. Okay, so it's just we're poking with Q. Recent recast range, 3000 units. Okay, the range is longer, so Billy can be AFK. E Warm Hugs. Oh, that is right in the juggler, right in the testicles. Well, you don't buy any AP on this champ, man. You buy fucking Redemption, you buy. The other item, what's it called? Moonstone, a little bit of AP. This is a gut punch. Oh, this champion got deleted off the planet, man. Deleted off the planet, Milio. I don't know if Milio is like something that has like high play rate and low elo or something. They want to make him more poke heavy or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. Nidalee is one of the hardest champions to play, true. Um, Nidalee gets nerfed. Uh, once again here, uh, what stands out to me is like Nidalee is an example of a champion that usually wouldn't want to buy Leandri, but is buying Leandri because of how OP Leandri is, right? And a great example of Leandri being OP. It's like how, how much, like Nidalee is going first item Leandri, that's how OP this item is. Because it just has HP, AP. Uh, nevertheless, Nidalee is getting nerfed. W pounds 55 
magic damage, okay. And the issue with Nidalee is just she dominates solo queue. That's the biggest issue, man. Uh, like... She, she, she just always dominates solo queue. There's no, there's no world where she is playable in pro and she's not completely rubbish murdering all of the solo queue. Rumble, finally we're here, guys. Two years of complete domination. Shanji showing us the world with the Ignites, Flash, Rumble, got... Rumble was OP at the World Championship last year. And then with the rework of items, got even more broken. He, even, he abused all of the OP items. When Storm Surge was at its peak, Leandri change, all of these, all of these changes benefited Rumble. He he struggled in the item department, but now he just didn't do uh, like didn't at all. And uh, nevertheless, Flame Splitter total magic damage down. Oh, ooh, okay. Right in the ball sack. Right in the ball sack. Honestly, deserved. Very deserved. I think. I think honestly, this is a good nerf. I think this is this will put him in a good spot. I think this will put him in a fine spot, really. Like, I think, I think this nerf is enough for him to not get banned anymore, but still be played. So I think that's cool. Genuinely. I, I think this is a good change. I think Riot hit the mark. Also, with the minion damage modifier, 70% at all ranks, I think that's good. I, I think this is, this is very cool. I don't understand this change. change. Flames with the now deals one bonus tick of damage if it would kill a lane minion. So basically, when they survive with one HP, it kills it. All right. I feel like maybe this should be like ten and or five. Like, why is it just one? I do. Do you really underkill with one that often with Rumble? One, really. All right, let's continue. Targets max HP, Sion. You know, the issue with Sion is that his W doesn't make him immune to CC. That is the role of a tank nowadays. If your W makes you unkillable or it makes you immune to CC, uh, then you are a tank. If not, you're not a tank. Or if your passive gives you 200 armor and MR and you're buying one more armor, you know? All right. I don't see a world where this pushes Sion to playability again. No, 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 no idea. Five damage on Q. I think this is completely irrelevant. Uh, let's see the Tristana changes. Base mana 50 up. Rapid fire Q 50 mana cost up. Ooh, okay. This is pretty big considering you have very small mana pool. Attack speed down. Oof, right in the ball sack. And mana cost 2W. Okay. I guess you are gonna do some like presence of mind gaming. Like we have four days into the patch, so maybe there's some details already on on a lot of lyrics in terms of how people are doing. Like uh, maybe you just go presence of mind now in your room. Halo Blades is back. Halo Blades. Interesting. Ignite. That looks horrible. These these numbers look really very trash as compared to 1413 in terms of solo queue. 52. 62 Emax, switch Emax into Q. Like, what else are people doing? Emax into Q, W start 62%. Like, what the, what the hell are other people doing? Highest wind room page. Bro, there's an absurd amount of people that are maxing W second. That's <laughs> fucking funny, actually. Q Max first. Holy shit. <laughs> but okay, her, her general win rate has plummeted really hard uh, to 14.4. But I would just imagine that people would try playing Presence of Mind, don't? Look, Presence of Mind right now here, if you look at it, Presence of Mind is doing, it does a 51. Look at that, 51% win rate with 
I, I think that generally presence of mind that's where my mind would go just go presence of mind and I think that might help you with all of your mana problems I think the Tristana should still be played this, this look at presence of mind 51% but it's low play rate but I think that's something that is worth uh, I think that's something that is worth uh, looking at you know I still think Tristana will be played. I would be surprised if we don't get to see a single Tristana game uh, today. Uh, I think Tristana will still see some gaming. I think the AP jungles so far in the patch notes aren't nerfed hard enough. But I would, I would definitely try press of mind if you're a Tristana player. And then I would also consider uh, just... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm curious what the stats say where people skip Navori. This is Berserker Greaves. Uh, everyone's just buying Navori. I wonder if there's a world where you don't buy Navori. Uh, what happens? I'm curious. Nevertheless, I, I think Tristana should still see play. Uh, unless we see some crazy changes to uh, AP jungles. Uh, like a Leandri nerf. Right, 10 damage up on Shuriken. Ooh, that is, that is a nice buff. Uh, these are some nice buffs. Okay, these are some nice buffs. You know, Zenzig's issue is that they removed ability haste from assassin items, and he was the biggest abuser of ability haste. Um, I think you don't go Navori, guys. I see people talking in the chat about Navori, Tristana, but at that point, mana issues aren't an issue anymore, you know? Bro, these Z buffs are pretty big, no? Let me, let me see how that affected everything. Let me, let me take a look. Z buffs. Okay. The pick rate and the ban rate went through the roof. Okay. I would figure this was a bigger buff than this. I, I thought that the, the, the win rate would go up more than just this. Look at these placebo... placebo. <laughs> Look at these placebo buffs. 0% win rate increase on Sion. <laughs> That's pretty fucking hilarious. Yeah, Alright, Zyra. Let's, let's read them. 16 to 84, 15 AP, bonus damage to Monta, 60 to 50, all right. Well, I don't think this, I don't think this matters. Like, does this really decrease your, does re this really decrease your, uh, I mean, Z is a conditional ability, don't know why we would think these buffs are big. 10 damage on Q is very big in, in in situations where, especially it's 10 damage level 1, it's a spell that you do level 1, you can hit 3 shurikens and combos, 2 and trades, and then it amplifies your ult damage. 10 damage on Q is, is, is big. I don't know why you are specifying uh, the ZE change in your comment, you are making a stroman. This is, this is a nice buff, I think. This I don't think matters. This doesn't really matter. I don't think this matters at all. Alright, one more summer, finally. 1300 to 1500. So, you need... You need... A ruby crystal. So you go double HP rune, support item, um, and a ruby crystal, and then you're good to go. Overgrowth is going to be like a must. It's just a ruby crystal that you have to add to the pool. I, I think that's... I think, I think a big part that makes, makes Warmogs good is the fact that the path to Warmogs on you is strong. The path to Warmogs on you is strong. I, I think people underestimate it isn't the Warmogs armor only that is OP because the item path is OP. So you're just buying ruby crystals and that's all you want as a melee support. So I think this still will be both bought and I think people are just going to force overgrowth and uh, you just throw a little ruby crystal in there. I think that's okay. If anything, I do think that Zeke's Convergence and Solari are really broken items. I, I think that there is a couple of items right now that are giga overtuned. It's Solari, Zeke's Convergence 
previously on the previous patch one more armor but now i think this is, makes it okay and uh, leandri static shield i think these items are the ones that stand out as the most op right now absorb life i'm gonna be honest i don't know why the fuck they put this in the game i i don't know why they put this in the game no clue why this is in the game like i think people had an issue already with fleet footwork second wind door and shield why did absorb life be put in the game w what's that well why did absorb life why did absorb life crawl into the game it's very strange to me i, I don't know why this exists i genuinely don't know why this exists we're nerfing the early, sustained by as much as 50% with some compensation by pushing some power into the late game. Bro, who gives a fuck about this rune in the late game? Who cares about this rune in the late game? That is, this is not a rune in the late game. Who cares? Who cares? Late game rune, bro. Any nerf is a nerf. Yo, Daisy Lave. Thank you very much, Lady Dave. I appreciate that. Okay. Well, honestly, I think we're going to see a lot of the same today, bro. I think Brand still gets play. Zara gets still gets play. I think that uh, Tristana... The issue with Tristana is like, what do you actually play into Tristana? That's the main problem. I still think Tristana is okay. Maybe I'm wrong. I could read that wrong, but I feel like some presence of mind. If APA plays Tristana today, I'm not surprised. Uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, let's watch some fucking LCS games.